B650 in game. Woo woo. <laughs> um, joining, joining the AM5 gang also at the same time. So um, this was, you know, used, open box, whatever, warehouse deals from um, Amazon. It looks brand new. It looks really nice. The heat sink is so heavy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, the only complaint so far, I took the IO shield off and that trim is plastic and it's kind of, it's kind of cheaper plastic, but whatever, hundred dollar, hundred dollar board, but it smells like it smells so bad. It smells like armor all. And I like sniffed around and it's this, it's this pad, which is weird looking and it has this little tab on it. It just seems out of place. And I noticed the board was a little goofy so that's the closest thing that I have to a straight edge and um, I get outside of the well you know it's clearly bent so my first thought is this got RMA'd you know for something and um, somebody put this goofy pad in there <laughs> I don't know um, but either way, it stinks. I don't want it. I think it's too thick, but I'm just going to start unscrewing stuff. I know there was some kind of tension problem here, because you're supposed to get that plate or whatever, so... Um, so I'm just going to start unscrewing stuff until that straightens out, and then... If it's that heat sink, which I think it is, then I have, you know, I've got plenty of pads... Um, to put in there, so... Um... So let's take some things apart and see what this is all about. Okay, well I think I found the issue. So when I when I loosened the um, that heat sink, I'll try to do this with one hand. A lot of tension just came off. Um, so that's like way better than it was. I'm gonna try to get it. Yeah, so it'll get the best exaggeration on the end too. But um, with almost no tension, I get that. And with just a little tiny bit of tension, um, it's basically straight now. So, um, woo -woo. <laughs> um, I went ahead and, and undid the um, back plane just just to be safe too. And I'm glad I took this apart because this is kind of um, this is disgusting. Really, I don't know how else to to put this. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm hoping it's pin, but, um, you know, that could be, like, somebody's insides, I don't know, um, leaking out their fingers, so. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and redo all these pads, I don't like that at all, I think that's disgusting. Um, and you can see where, um, clearly in some portions the pads were um, too tight. That's the portion that was actually um, kind of straight. It was the portion behind the IO shield. And I, and, I mean, shout out to the heat sink itself. Um, like, that's ridiculous. It's so big and it has a, a heat pipe in it and everything. So, um, this is the side that was, that was actually, you know, bowing. So, um, it's just gross. I don't know. I've never seen pads that color, and um, they, I mean, they smell... That smells just like somebody poured armor all on a sponge. And, um... So I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and redo all these, but, um... There's a naked B650M. It looks really good. I don't know if I'll be able to get, um... A snapshot of those or not. Yeah, I guess not. All right, well, that's the limits of a $50 phone. <laughs> um, but anyways, it does it does look pretty. And, um, you know, the grid array is... is um, they're fun to look at. So it's my first AM5. It's a lot different than the AM4. Definitely has the Intel vibes with the, um, with the LGA, so... Anywho, I will find some pads and clean this potential biohazard and um, get this thing better. <laughs> All right.
Okay, well, I found the smell. It's not these um, blue pads that were on, like, the MOSFETs um, themselves. It was actually these black pads that were on the coils um, or the inductors. And so they, they're actually, they have the goo on them. Like, I've seen that on cheap graphics card pads, but never... Never to that extent. I mean, that's like literally um, dripping and disgusting. So, um, it w it's these little black pads. And um, so, either way, we're going to replace all of them. And um, it's still, still, hi Panda. How are you? Did you come to help? Did you, are you going to help? You just want some treats? Okay, we'll get you some treats. Oh, you speak English. Hello. Treats. Hello. All right. Oh, uh, it's my dirty garage and my dirty cat that likes my dirty garage. So, all right, let's get this thing padded and uh, throw this in the trash. That's disgusting. Okay, well, apparently this turned into a repadding video. <laughs> um, I'm going to not use this um, thicker pad that went um, after this sequence here. I don't think that it was supposed to be used intentionally. It only covers these two little things on the outside. And um, I did, I went ahead with half millimeter pads. I had um, one of my older packages, which are authentic. They're good pads. I think these bigger ones are knockoffs because they don't perform near as well, but they still work. So. Um, until they run out, but these are one mil, and they're definitely squeezed too hard. So those are on the coils. I would definitely feel comfortable doing a half on that. Um, this grabbed the MOSFETs on the ends because of the bow. It didn't really grab, you know, the center. Um, so I'm, I'm going to just try it with the half mil all around, and, um, and we'll see what happens, but definitely a lot cleaner look. There's no pin or, or blood, <laughs> whatever, the, whatever the heck that stuff was. Oh, this camera, good golly. Yeah, whatever. Whatever that is. Anyways, uh, the board will no longer be crooked. Um, we got the right um, stuff on there. And I, I do believe this was in RMA, the more I look at it, because the... Um, little back plane holder for the cooler. Um, there's a different screw in there, so it has had, you know, a different air cooler on it at some point, so. Um, but no worries, we're mostly straight on the board. It's a very thick board, it's a very hardy board. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So the half mil pads on the MOSFETs were actually air gapped, and the half mil pads excuse me, on the coils were um, perfect. So I went ahead and pulled off and put one mil pads here. And so we'll pop it back on and I think we'll be good to go. Okay, so I've got the half mil pads on the coils and I've got the one mil pads on the MOSFETs and it's still pretty much flat. So, do you notice a little bow where this um, hold down was? So, maybe somebody tightened the crap out of that when it was in their case or something. But, I don't know. That is um, better than it was. And we're going to give it a better home. And we saved some money. So, I don't really mind fiddling with stuff. I kind of, kind of enjoy it. So, um, But I think we fixed it. So, we'll get the back plane on and get our heat spreader. No, that's not a heat spreader. What is that? A pressure spreader thing on there and um, do some AM5 stuff. So I went, I did go ahead and get the um, CPU in with the um, pressure plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those stands off for the factory um, AM4 cooler. I went ahead and pulled in one of my um, 5900s. And so two of these will 
be um, running that soon. I found a way to make those work with the short um, assassins that I had bought for the um, the 3060 build that ended up going AIO. So I'm gonna go ahead and get um, this cooler off. It'll be a little overkill and I'm doing it mainly on that I have it. It's available and um, aesthetics. I, th I think it'll look good being um, a rather darker board. This corner over here, you know, is kind of lighter with all of the capacitors exposed, but um, in general, it's, it's kind of a dark little square, so I think it'll look neat. And then that cooler is way overkill, so it'll be nice um, to have like a super low, super low fan speed. So um, Those are my thoughts, but I'll get the cooler on, and we'll get the RAM in, and we'll go inside. Because holy smokes, it's still hot out here. What is it? Oh my gosh. 3 a.m.? It's still 91? It's... That's not right. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you with a cooler. It is all done and looking good. So we got our T-Creates in. I think I like the way DDR4 from their T-Create Expert looks better, but that is pretty clean. Um, these Assassin 120s do allow you to buy us um, one way or the other for... I. I don't know, I'd say maybe three quarters of an inch, but this lined up here. And I don't plan to run a GPU. If I do, it'll be, you know, a little Dell 1660 Super or something um, down there. So I kind of like um, the way that lined up. So I went ahead and took the cover off. Um, I just don't like them. I run like Gen 3 little cheap hard drives, so I don't need any kind of heat dissipation, really. And, um, I don't know. I think motherboards just look better without all those covers, so. Um, oh my god, and those heat pads that were smelly and gross and oily, like they, well, I mean, the table's scarred from being hit and things, but those pads left, like, a stain. Like, that's, that's after glass cleaner, and I'm not gonna alcohol the table. <laughs> That just seems overkill. Oh, no. And so the only thing I really, like, you know, feel different than building, like, a B550 versus this 650 is this heat sink. Like, I cannot convey um, how much heavier that is. <laughs> so I would be, like, leery of using these plastic stands that I use. I would be leery of, you know, like, suspending that on the wall or something, so... I think direct downward pressure inside would be just fine. Outside probably just fine if you're in a, not in a hot, super hot climate. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, but I saw, so if you check out um, Brandon Coyne, he has the shop uh, BCPC. I'm sure there's a link on his channel. And he was um, talking about he had some metal, um, you know, little stands there that you could put, like, standard um, bronze or brass or whatever offsets in. Um, or, you know, pot metal colored, like, bronze. I don't know about that. But I have little baggies of those everywhere, too. So, um, but yeah, pretty, pretty compact, little heavy, heavy, dense thing. So, um, let's see what it does. Well, it is getting pretty late, so... I think we'll um, go ahead and power on in the morning, but um, I did want to share one more thing before I forget, which is prone to happen. Um, what I like to do with fan placement on these assassins, and some other ones you can do this also, but um, I like to go ahead and push that fan below the fin stack, and you can usually get around a half an inch um, down there, and then I like that because it'll actually pull in RAM. Um, it'll pull in air <laughs> um, from across the ram and then it'll push into the heat sink. So most heat sinks aren't um, monsters like that, you know, they'll, they'll just kind of blow over the top of it instead of um, but getting caught in that fin stack. But, um, you know, that's pretty pretty good quality heat sink. Overkill, way overkill. Ridiculous overkill, but pretty neat. So. We'll let it hang out with its um, with its new friends overnight, 
and um, we'll welcome it to the party tomorrow. And um, the official AM5 gang. Woo -woo. Oh my goodness. I almost didn't get the camera on in time. Um, so I got it inside. AM5 gang. And um, I just fired it up, so it should be doing its learn. And pretty cool to have video out. I did not have that on AM4. And what do we got? 6.50 AM, hello. New CPU, you're damn right it is. You're damn right it is. Yeah, okay, awesome. That's all normal stuff that I would normally see. Oh, yeah. Well, I got a little excited by the numbers, so I got I got right into tuning in Windows. Um, so without without really doing anything in BIOS, I don't think, um, or pretty minimal stuff. If I did, um, no settings or anything like that. Um, oh no! So I'll wake it up, but I wanted to show that seventy six six. And so I I just put that in and a little little bit of a giveaway. This thing is efficient. Um, so let's wake it up. Welcome to the farm. Okay, so. We'll just call it 12962. Seems to be the kind of there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Buttons and things. Um. So we'll do twelve nine sixty two. Divided by seventy six point six. And I covered it up so I can't read it. There we go. Point one six nine two one. So that is the best number so far. And um, that's at the wall, so I knew this was supposed to be an efficient uh, CPU, but um, coming from uh, AM4, that's a drastic leap to be my first um, AM5, so I don't remember... Let's see. Oh yeah, those are wall watts, so let's see. Um, yeah, so kind of around 11, 10, 11 is where I hung out and then on my efficient settings, let's see. So um, I didn't really mess with SOC too much on the 5900X, so I could probably Probably get that into twelves, I would think. Um, but there's no way I could get sixteen nine, almost seventeen. That's um, wow. Yeah, so that thing is silly efficient, silly efficient, and that was just kind of playing around. So um, I haven't had time to do. Um, Kind of a super in-depth tune, but um, I just did what I would. Um, I guess there's uh, kind of some of the specs, so hopefully you can pause it somewhere if you would like some of this info. Um, so that's kind of the standard thing I do. I just play around, and then I'll find. I found that the minimum voltage was quite low, and so I thought, oh well, that's interesting. Let's see. Um, 
how high um, of a frequency can we get with the stock uh, or with the minimum voltage and 3.6 gigahertz is the answer to that inquiry <laughs> um, and then I just started I just started pulling SOC and um, very, very rudimentary limiting on um, I think that's RAM voltage maybe I don't remember um, but yeah nothing nothing really um, you know groundbreaking or anything and I, I've done that all here within um, Windows through this software, and I'm not I'm not familiar with it. Gigabyte Control Center. So, um, but yeah, very efficient. I like it. Pretty neat. Um, that's how I got there. If you would like to try something similar on yours, I don't know that it would work. Um, but yeah, we'll keep it going. So I don't know. That's a fun, efficient setting. I'll leave it there for now. It is Texas in the summer, so. Um, and I've got I've got number five to get to, which is um, going to be pretty neat. Not that level of neat, but pretty pretty doggone close to it. Um, but it'll be air cooled instead of water cooled. So um, looking looking forward to that, and uh, looking forward to um, getting back to networks and things. Still in hardware mode. So, um, but I think. I looked up, this was still making like 30 cents a day on mining rig rentals. I don't know if those calculators are um, accurate, but that was from Minerstat with those um, those stats that I showed you, the watts and um, whatnot. So. But yeah, AM5, very happy, very pleased. Uh, that motherboard is amazing. I'm kind of glad I took it apart, and um, even though I didn't expect that, it was pretty cool. I got more familiar with it. And um, love those coolers, love those fans, and it's so compact, so uh, very neat. I think that'll probably be my base going forward. I might, I might try some other ones, but um, you know, a lot of people had a lot of, a lot of high things to say about this one. So, but. all right, well, that is the newest CPU adventures and our newest um, efficiency chasing. So. Um, I hope you all are growing. I hope you're doing well, and um, I hope you're uh, helping people. So, all right, all the best. Happy hashing.